I'm Deputy Secretary of Agriculture, Krista Hardin, with a message about the U.S. Department of Agriculture's 2013 Agricultural Resource Management Survey. Between January and April, our National Agricultural Statistics Service will contact nearly 33,000 farmers and ranchers. If you receive a form, I urge you to respond quickly. Keep in mind that the survey is an important tool that helps us serve you. For the past two decades, USDA's Economic Research Service has used the survey as its primary source of information on your production practices, on your use of resources, and the economic well-being of America's farm operations and farm households. We ask you to provide data on your farm operating costs, your capital improvements, assets and debts for agricultural production. We'll ask you for farm-related income, government payments, all-farm income, and operator and household characteristics for 2013. We'll use the survey to target selected commodities for additional data on production costs and returns. This year, I'm pleased to say, we're collecting information on rice and peanut growers. As a farm girl born and raised on a peanut farm in southwest Georgia, I especially want to encourage my family, friends, and farmers in my home state, the nation's number one peanut producing state, to be sure to get their responses in. With the data, we'll take the economic pulse of the agriculture industry. And the survey has other uses. Cost of production data helps USDA provide Congress with important information as they shape the Farm Bill. And your responses will help your local government determine fund lo location allocations for important programs like Medicaid and SSI. I want to assure you that we keep all of your information strictly confidential as required by federal law. No individual operation or producer can be identified. My thanks for giving me these few minutes to explain the survey. Please fill it out and help us keep our information current and accurate. After all, better data leads to better decisions. Thank you.